do you find yourself manually saving doll e images, one at a time from chat GPT? What if you could get all the images from an entire conversation, downloaded in just a few minutes like this? In this video, I'll be showing you how to bulk download all the DAL-E images, you've created in any ChatGPT conversation. We will be using ChatGPT code interpreter to generate the code, and run it using Python. Let's get started. This is one of my conversations in ChatGPT, where I created many images with DAL-E. As you can see, I have created more than 40 images here. I can download these images one by one, by clicking the download icon like this. It can be a tedious and time-consuming process, to download individual images. So, I wanted an easier way to download all images at once. Let me show you how to generate some code to do this easily. Right-click one of the images, and choose the Inspect option in the browser. Here, we have the image tag with the URL. Let's see if we can view the image, by copying the URL and pasting on a new tab. Seems like it's configured to download, rather than display on browser. Now, I'm going to use the HTML on the page, and filter all the image URLs using Code Interpreter. Let's right-click image and select Inspect again. Now, I can select the div tag for single image and a set of images. We have to move upwards and select the divs, until all the elements for this conversation is selected. This div element contains the complete conversation. So, I'm going to right-click and select Copy Element option. This will select all the HTML tags. Now, I am starting a new chat with ChatGPT Advanced Data Analysis, which is also called Code Interpreter. I am going to prompt as, consider the following HTML code. Let me paste the copied HTML content. Then, I am asking ChatGPT to filter all the image tags, and find the ones which contains the URL of doll images. Finally, I am asking it to create a text file with each image URL on a new line. Let's see if ChatGPT can do that. It seems like HTML content was too long for ChatGPT. Let's save the content into a file and try again. Copy all the HTML code and paste it into a text editor. Then, save it as a text file. Now, I am uploading the file to Code Interpreter, and using the same prompt. Let's wait. Seems like it's working now. After a few steps, now I have the file. Let's open and check the content. Now, I have all the URLs of the images in the conversation. It's important to mention that, these links are temporarily download links. Links will expire after some time. Now, let me ask for the complete code used for generating the links. You can copy this code and use it on a local Python installation, for downloading doll images. I recommend this process, as it's faster than generating URLs using ChatGPT. Now, we have to generate the code to download images from the URLs. Let me break down the prompt. Give me a Python script, to read an image URLs list in a text file, separated by line breaks. Then, the script should download all files, and create a zip file of images. Keep in mind that image URL is configured to trigger an immediate download. Let's run this and wait for ChatGPT to generate the complete code. Now, I have the complete code. Let me copy the code. In order to run this code, we need a local Python installation on our computer. It would have been easier if we were able to run this code, inside the ChatGPT code interpreter. But, it doesn't have access to internet. So, it's not possible to download images with code interpreter. Let me create a new file in my local disk called download.py. Now, I'm going to paste the copied code from ChatGPT. Let me copy the file name used in this code. Now, I'm going to move the image URL file we created in previous step, to the same folder as download.py. Let me rename this file with the file name used in download.py. Now, we are ready to run the code. Keep in mind, that you need Python installed on your computer to run this code. 
Let me open command prompt, and go to the folder where we have the two files. Now, type the command as, py, space, download.py, and hit enter. The command prompt will display messages as, downloading image 1, 2 and so on. Let's open the image folder created by this code, alongside the command prompt. As you can see, all the images in our conversation is being downloaded one by one. Depending on the number of images, it will take from few seconds, to few minutes. It took around one and a half minutes to download all 44 images. I also got the zip file with all 44 images. Are you confused with all the coding? Now, that we have generated complete code, let me show you how to run it again. Step 1. Go to the chat GPT conversation and right-click one of the images. Inspect the image, and copy one of the top div elements that contains all images. Then, paste it into a text file and save it. Step 2. Create a new chat GPT conversation with advanced data analysis. Upload the file we saved in step 1. Add this prompt and hit enter. Chat GPT conversation link with all the prompts, is mentioned in description of this video. Now, download the text file with all the URLs of images. Step 3. Copy this code for downloading images. This is also available inside the chat GPT link, in description. Go to the folder where you run Python code on your computer. Create a file called download.py and paste the code. Now, copy the text file with URLs to the same folder as download.py. Rename it to match the file names. Step 4. Open command prompt, and go to the location where you have the two files. Execute the code using, pi space download.py. Now, you can see the files downloading from the new conversation. Since you already have the files, next time, you only have to replace the content in these files. Hope this was useful in saving time downloading images. That's it for today. Let me know any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.